the melody you surround me with a song of deliverance from my enemies till all my fears at the cold I'm no longer a slave to fear I am a child City Talk and City Walk. And I'm your host, Violeta Lopez Gonzaga, bidding you a warm welcome to our new season. We've been away for a while, but this year we have very interesting segments for you. And of course, you might have seen our sortie City Walk in New Zealand. First of all, Chiang Rai, Thailand, an alternative destination in Thailand. Then, of course, our series on my dreamland, New Zealand. But now, let's go back home and we'll again focus on City Walk. My partner is still busy going around the city and abroad, Elsie Lopez Gonzaga. So, here we are. Right now, I would like to focus on one of the more interesting, if not controversial, uh, issue in our time and this is about LGBTs and of course the pending bills in the Senate same-sex marriage and Sogi bill but of course we need to look into the uh, characters personalities that are involved either pro or con these pending bills at the Senate. But an interesting development now is the way the LGBTs are going down community base, and that's right in the barangay and in our city council. Before we deal with that issue, let us look at a very interesting journey of one equally interesting uh, person and would like to uh, work on the story from gayhood to real joy one man's journey into wholeness so we have here with us right beside us here at Raleigh's uh, restaurant and now hotel uh, the one from Manila Cesar Evangelist of Wendy uh, welcome to City Talk and City Walk Cesar Magandang umaga can I speak in the vernacular We did it uh, vernacular in Manila which is Tagalog oh, Ilonggo country tayo <laughs> Yes Okay I, I do not know Ilonggo <laughs> Good morning uh -oh. So uh, so nice for you, of you to invite. Okay. Cesar, nandito ka. Gusto mo ba magtagalog tayo, English or Halo halo. Halo halo, English, English. Okay. Nandito ka kasi inimbita ka dahil sa isang advocacy mo at ganun din naman yung isang sector dito sa Bacolod. Pero bago tayo mag uh, usapan o mag-discuss to Pujan. Eh, gusto ko malaman ang imo ang itim mo, ang iyong kwento sa buhay. <laughs> um, napaka maganda ng aking naging journey sa, uh -huh. sa buhay ko. Kasi um Violeta di na itatanong. Um, I am uh, the grandson of a Protestant bishop. Oh. Okay. My Methodist? Uh, United Church of Christ ah, okay. in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. um, my Lolo, mm -hmm. Marciano Evangelista, was a bishop. No? One of the... He was the first Filipino president of the Philippine Bible Society. Oh. He was one of the founders of the Philippine Bible Society. And in fact, he initiated um, the effort to translate the Bible 
from Greek to Tagalog. Diretso Greek to Tagalog? Yes, because he was a Greek scholar. Ah, really? Okay. So, okay. she didn't nag-translate? Yes, she didn't nag-translate. With a team, of course. Uh -huh. And then, um, he also initiated the efforts to translate the Bible from the dialects. From... Uh, from Ano probinsya niyo? Kami, Batangas kami. Ah, Batangas. Taal na Tagalog. Uh, Batangas City. I don't know kung Taal na Tagalog. Yan ang tawag eh. Mga Tagalog, Tagalog. Taal na Tagalog. Ah, ganon. Uh -huh. Sabi lang niyang Taal yun. Ay, hindi yung Taga-Taal lang. <laughs> Taga-Taal lang nagsasabi nun. Okay. <laughs> anyway. So, I knew the gospel even as a child. I grew up in church. Uh -huh. I, um learned uh, I knew Christ as a child uh -huh. very much Sunday school ka pa Sunday school ah, pa okay. Ako rin Sunday school <laughs> Sunday <laughs> school yeah. <laughs> Okay and uh, in the house we would um, pray before eating uh -huh. we'd sing a song before eating May family altar kayo uh, uh, altar Family altar din sa gabi nagbabasa ng Bible the, before the before dinner uh -huh. We'd have a 20-minute service mm -hmm. <laughs> before dinner. Okay. So I was very familiar with a um, good work. But uh, as I grew up, mm -hmm. my hormones kicked in. Mm -hmm. And so I... Uh, adolescence. Yes, ad adolescence. And you know how hormones are. Mm. So I started experimenting. Mm -hmm. And uh, I discovered places uh -huh. uh, where... This is at what age? 14? No, even younger. Twelve? I started very young. I Eleven. don't want to say. Uh, okay. Um, I would be in movie houses. Yes. I would uh, meet people in malls, uh -huh. etc. Uh -huh. And it was a very wild... Uh, experience huh? because your body calls for it hindi pero was it because you were ano wala kang mga kapatid only child ka wala kang strong family no you, you just wanted it you just wanted it all boys school ka ba UP integrated school boys and girls school UP integrated school mm -hmm. okay so hanapin mo lang clear yourself yung body mo I didn't have crushes on girls. In fact, I viewed women as um, parang hindi sila pwedeng kasama sa sex kasi napakalinis nila. Hindi ko nga alam na ang babae pala may buhok sa kilikili. <laughs> oh, hindi ko alam yun. Okay. Hindi ko alam na ang, ang, ang bata pala dumalabas dun sa sex organ. Oh. Akala ko ang bata lumalabas sa likod. Uh -huh. Kasi parang hindi ko ma-imagine talaga yun na at as hindi ko alam na ang, ang, ang uh, penis ay sinusuot sa vagina. I couldn't imagine that because I couldn't imagine the woman as a sex object. Uh, parang sobrang banal ang pananaw ko sa women. Parang naaalala ko yung isang anak din na isang bishop na Methodist. Wala siyang kaalam-alam. Ganun din. <laughs> hindi, marami akong alam. Pero, hindi ko alam, ang sa babae. Ah! Hindi ko, kumbaga, sa, hindi ko matanggap. Alam uh, ko, alam head ko. Head knowledge. Head knowledge. Pero hindi ko ma-accept na ang pananaw ko sa babae ay, ano kay ay parang hindi pwedeng kasama yan sa sex kasi masyadong pure. Oba. Ang babae. Almost angelic. Akala mo mga anghel. Ang babae. Oo. Kaya, ano, kaya... Hindi ko, ang sa sex, lalaki. Mm. Yan ang, nung pag... Ano teka, ang, only child ka ba? Hindi, anim kami, bunso ako. Ah, bunso ka? Mm. Ano, three boys, three girls, or all uh, boys? Four boys. Four boys. Mm. There's nothing so sociological about it. Don't, ano, uh, don't Hindi force it. Hindi <laughs> lang, nakakurious lang ako. Kasi mm. youngest din ako. And I had a world of my own when I was young, mga youngest. <laughs> Lalo pa ako malalaking age gap. Okay. Yeah. At yan, tapos, um, habang lumalaki ako, ayan, na-expose ako dyan. Tapos, talagang dumating sa point, kasi alam ko nga ang, ang, ang Bible, alam ko ang Gospel. So, may conflict yan sa utak. Kasi I even became the president 
of a Christian organization in the University of the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Christian Youth Movement? UP Christian Youth Movement. Mm -hmm. I wasn't going to say it, but I didn't say it. At uh, nung naging presidente ako, I was still practicing mm -hmm. my uh, gay life mm -hmm. outside the church. Oh, you became gay at an early age. How? Very gay. At a very, very early age, as I said. Ah. Pero hindi ka nag-transgender. Gay ka lang. Ang transgender yung nagsusot babae? Oo. Oh, oh. Hindi. Yung nag-makeup, yung nagpaduding sa ilonggo? Hindi. Okay. Sa practice? Uh, I was having sex with male, mm -hmm. with uh, fellow male. Mm -hmm. So I started developing, because I'm a thinker. Eh. Mm -hmm. So parang I had to justify what I was doing mm -hmm. mentally. Parang sabi ko sa sarili ko. Parang I was creating my own theology, mm -hmm. trying to justify that. Uh, uh, Sex for, with men as a Christian, kasi mm -hmm. Christian ako eh. Alam ko ng kilala ko si Kristo at masasabi ko bata palang ako. May relasyon na ako kay Kristo. Ah, you mean to say at an early age, nakak encounter ka na personal encounter with Jesus Christ? Yes, we um. Sa aking experience hindi siya yung dramatic encounter. Mm -hmm. I really just had a relationship with Christ even as a kid. Sunday school. Even at home, at even home. before I go to bed, even even my my whole life, my, when I do things. Kasi religious family. Yes, because okay. nga my lolo was a. Uh, and your father followed suit. And my ma my father and my mother. Your father was a pastor. Or? No, we're just Christians. Okay. We're just uh, obedient. But uh, you know the way hormones kicked in and and uh, tried to show me a different point of view. So in in my mind, uh, so I lived a secret gay life, and in my mind I was trying to justify saying, "Na, uh, how how can uh, God not uh, approve of this? And this is a beautiful thing. When I fall in love with a man, God is a God of love, so." Uh, this must be okay with him. Uh, this must be. There must be nothing wrong because this makes me happy, and God wants me to be happy. And we're not, we're not harming anybody. Yan ang mga justification ko noon. In fact, kung kung, kung hindi ako binago ni Kristo ng ng todo todo, nandun ako sa Marikina and meron mer ng mga placard na ano. God loves uh, everybody. Mga gay, yung, 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 mga, mean, yung gay parade. Yung mga gay parade. Yan ang mga ginagawa ng mga gay parade. Yan, oh. Sinasabi na na-approve si God sa... Because God is love. Oh, He loves maga, everybody. <coughs> kung maga, ako yung... Kung hindi ako binago ni Kristo, ako yung leader doon. Okay. Pero, ang ginawa ng Diyos sa akin, ginawa niya akong director. Eh, since ano nga ako, ang ginagawa ko... I mean, film director. Film director. Paano ka nalaglag sa pagka-film director? Eh, talaga yun ang gusto ko. Pero, uh, pagkatapos kong mag-manage ng band, kung alam niyo yung South Border. Oo, oh, South uh, Border ako, Band. Akong, Sino nga ba yung famous dyan? Si Bamboo? Hindi. Si Bricks. Ah, okay. Mm, si Bricks. I trans from Bricks to Look. Uh -huh. <coughs> ako yung manager. Kilala ninyo siguro yung South Board. Sorry ha. Mga ka younger. Older Nakatingin generation. ako sa kanya. <laughs> <laughs> ano, ngayon, um, after my stint in showbiz, na sumusunod ako ng... I was head writer for several shows. Ah, mga TV shows. Yes. I was writing for movies also. Telenovela o mga... Telenovelas. <laughs> Uh, okay. And uh, sitcoms and um, comedy sitcoms. Yes. Uh -oh. And I was also writing Kamuha for films. Si Edgar Mortis, eh. um, <laughs> I worked with Edgar Mortis for the longest time. Uh -oh. At talaga sinasabi ni Len. Para uh, kay magkapate. Ako daw yung girl version, kasi ako yung feminine version. <laughs> kasi nag curly hair Pero pa ako. You never wore uh, female clothes. No, but uh, you know, people uh -oh. naman know because uh -oh. of the way I act. Uh -oh. Okay. Tapos, 
I've worked in Going Bananas, yung show ni Edgar ah, Mortiz. Nagsulat ka doon. Nagsulat at umarte din. Ah, <coughs> Tapos... Yung Going Bulilit. Ay, ah, hindi. Bago lang yung Going bali- ah. Bulilit. Ay, yung mga telenovela. Mga anak ni Edgar Mortiz ang gumagawa noon. Ano, ano? Anong mga telenovela? Ang... Criselda. Ah, Criselda. Oo. Meron hindi ako. yung Flor de Luna. <laughs> Bata pa ako ng Flor de Luna. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Wala pa ako sa showbiz noon. Um, mga Viva Spotlight, Viva uh, tele- uh, mga telesine sa GMA. Nakalimutan ko na yung titles. Tapos, um, and a few movies na Forgettables nang sinusulat ko ng script. Hanggang sa uh, nabigyan ako ng uh, nag, natanggal ako sa showbiz ang quote ko tanggal kasi uh, may nag-intriga sa akin eh uh, grabe ang intriga sa showbiz Talaga, Talaga pero ano I believe that the Lord allowed it to happen so I um, voluntarily ejected myself from show business And I went into a hiatus. I attended a workshop in Ateneo uh-huh. for film, bago pa lang ang digital filmmaking noon. In fact, wala pa nga palang digital noon. Uh-huh. Pero yung mas, mas advanced na cameras. Late at, 80s to? 90s? Early 90s? Oh nga no, 80... I was around 23. 24, mga gano'n. 19, early 90s? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, early 90s. Tapos, um, nung nag-ano ako, nung umalis ako sa showbiz, uh-huh. nag-workshop ako, uh-huh. ako, napiling magsulat ng script at mag-direct ng first uh, school project, uh, workshop project. Yung workshop project na yun, na panood ng isang obispo ng katoliko si Bishop Joel Bailon who will, I will always love because he he doesn't know na talagang he paved the way for so many things to happen in my life um, he watched the film and he gave a sterling endorsement of the film and so an endorsement from the Catholic Bishop of a, uh, a member of the Catholic Bishops of the Philippines was practically my ticket to show my films to schools. Catholic schools ah, all over okay. the Philippines. Okay. At first, I was just saying, pag-sabi kasi nung ni Father Ari D, na din ngayon, uh, principal ba ng ano, savior, mm-hmm. sabi ni Fari, Father Aristotle D, i-process mo yung film pagkatapos ipalabas sa students. Kasi yung film, very disturbing film about cheating. Uh-huh. Ano talaga siya, that students really enjoy the my film. My storyline. Ah, yeah, a feature film. Feature film. Uh, I wrote the script. Pero may mga actors, may kwento. Yes, si Jackie Lu- Jackie, Jacqueline Jose. Oh, okay. Jackie Michael Luz. Demesa. Oh, okay. Uh, tapos, and may mga theater actors. Uh-huh. So sabi ni Father Ari D., You, I know, you process the film after showing it to the students. So I did, and my uh, my my objective was to uh, convince the students to stop cheating in school, and because I believe that cheating is the germ that becomes corruption when you grow up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it starts early. You learn cheating yes. in school and you become corrupt when you grow up. Yes. And I was telling, I would apologize to the students because I would say, na, our generation has produced so many corrupt uh, leaders mm-hmm. and uh, we have basically destroyed mm-hmm. their future. Our generation destroyed yeah. their generation's future. And um, I have to Uh, apologize to the students for that and um, ayun, yan ang sinasabi ko tapos pagkatapos kong mag-discuss tungkol sa cheating sa mga schools later on sa end ng talk ko I would ask them to commit 
against cheating. Sabi ko, sino sa inyo? Parang covenant. Parang covenant. Sino sa inyo ang willing mag-commit na pagtandaan nyo, uh, hindi kayo, uh, pag ngayon habang nag-aaral kayo, hindi kayo mag-cheat, pero pagtandaan nyo, hindi kayo magiging corrupt tulad ng mga leaders namin na, na na-produce ng generation. And, uh, may mga tumatayo, okay naman. Nagko-commit, medyo may nagtatawanan, medyo may iba seryoso. So, I was doing this several times. So, habang, para habang ginagawa ko yan, minubulangan ako ng Panginoon. Sabi niya, mention my name. Habang nagsasalita ako, yung mga sinasabi ko, yung mga Bible verses na alam ko pa nung bata ako, na parang nire-remind sa akin. Nagugulat ako na naalala ko kasi nung time na yun, hindi na ako masadong churchy. Pero, I know it I know it was the Lord and uh, he was saying mention my name. So finally I agreed. I said I I I said Jesus and then I told the story, the gospel story. At hindi ko na hiningi na tumayo sila to commit against cheating. I said if you want to commit to the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, stand up. At nagtatayuan yung mga bata. Iyakan sila ng iyakan. Na pagkatapos ng session na yan, uh, nilapitan ako ng school head, sabi, Sir, para kami nag nagre-recollection. <laughs> so, it became a ministry. Okay. So, every time... At that time, syempre, nagbalik loob ka na sa Panginoon. Hindi pa. Hindi pa. Hindi pa. I was still a practicing homosexual. Okay. Tapos, it was really God's plan. Itong, itong kinikwento ko talagang si God ang nag-orchestrate. Nothing na effort ko talaga. Plinano. Wala akong plinano. So, ginagawa ko yung padala. So, ano yung pagsasabi, pagpapa-altar call ko na accept Jesus, eh, nagiging constant na. So, nagkaroon ngayon ng conflict sa utak ko. Kasi, na ito ako na na-justify ko na sa utak ko ang ano, ang homosexuality. And I was still practicing it. And yet, I was preaching the gospel. Mm -hmm. At tumatanggap sila, at miyak sila. At ti ang tuwing magsisimba ako, bumabalik ako sa simbahan at that time, sa victory na ako nagsisimba noon, yung sinabi ko sa school, hindi ko sure kung tama ba itong sinasabi ko. Pagdating ko sa church, yun ang sinesermo ng pastor. My ex the exact words that I would use in the schools, biglang sinasabi ng pastor, sa so ina-affirm. Go on, go on, sir, sir. Tapos sabi ko pa nga, paano ito? Eh, makasalanan pa ako. Biglang ang sermo the next Sunday was, ano, eh, when will you start when you're no, no longer a sinner? That will never happen. It's true, di ba? We are all sinners and we are all sharing the gospel. We, we, we really don't really, really stop sinning 100%. Pero you don't, you don't, ano, kumbaga, hindi, hindi porke, hindi ka na, hinihintay mo pa na wala ka ng sin bago ka mag-preach ng gospel. Yun ang sermo ng Pastor sa Victory, Pastor Rico. So, ang lakas ng conflict sa utak ko. Ito ako, nagpipreach ng gospel, pero nagpa-practice pa rin ako ng homosexuality. Yung conflict na yun, tumaas ang tumaas, hanggang si tinanong ako ng Panginoon, sino ka? Sino ka, Cesar? At nung sasagot ako, ang gusto kong sagutin, ay ako ay bakla. Pero pinigilan ako nilo. Parang hindi, 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 hindi ako pinigilan. Hindi ko masabi. Kasi tinatanong ako, sino ka? Hindi ko masabi, ako ay bakla. Hindi ko masabi. Sabi ko, teka muna. I am going to define myself according to my sexual desires. Am I going to define... Ang ibig sabihin ba nun? Ako ay ang ay produkto, ang pagkatao ko, ay nakabase kung ano ang aking gusto sa kama. At hindi ko matanggap yun. I am more than that. So the Lord kept me ask on, asking me, Sino ka? At ang naging sagot ko ay, I am your child, O Lord. 
And nung sina na sabi ko na yon, parang nagbago lahat. Parang turning point. Yun. Turning point talaga yon. And ano ha, I wasn't reading any book. Nobody was talking to me about it. I wasn't consulting anybody. But you're reading the Bible. Uh, a little, a little at that time, no? <clears throat> I, but I would always pray. I'm a prayerful person. I had a relationship with God. At then, sinabi niya, ikaw ay anak ko. Nung, nas, nung nalarealize ko, narealize ko na yun ang kaibuturan ng aking pagkatao. At ang na ako ay bakla was always and has always been the devil's lie. Ah, okay. That your true identity does not depend even in, on your chosen gender at the time. Not at all. A person's identity must be defined by, by according to Jesus. According to Jesus. Okay. Must, must be defined by Christ. Uh -huh. That is our essence as a human being. Uh -huh. That started my journey. Out of that was that biglang yung aking ano yung pag yung pagpapractice ng bakla ng sex Ay, life. Double, yung double life. Yung, yung double life. Inanot inayos talaga yun ni Lord. Inayos talaga yun ni Lord. As in hindi siya instant hindi siya mabilis, dahan-dahan, pero binago niya ako. Binago niya ako. Yung, yung, paano? Paano? Ano naging manifestation ng pagbabago nyo? Kung makikipag-sex ako, bigla na lang, kunyari gusto ko na makipag-sex sa isang lalaki. Anong pangalan mo? Christian po. Nire-remind ako ni Lord. Christian ang pangalan. Meron pa akong gustong makasex noon tapos nung niyayaya ako na Sir, hindi pwede, Christian ako. Uh, Minsan, in the middle... Nagsusulisit ka? Ha? Nagsusulisit ka noon? O... I would approach men. Oh, okay. Yeah. Meron pa nga ako na, na nakilala. Um, kasi I was really living a uh, uh -huh. promiscuous life. Uh -huh. Meron pa nga ako nakilala. <coughs> um... In the middle of the sex act, um, nila remind ako ng verse na ano, the the Lord will provide a way out. Yung diya, then the Lord will provide a way out. And totoo yun na the Lord was providing a way out even during the sex act. So, minsan pagkatapos kung makipag sex. Papasok ka sa kotse, eh, at that time, kumbaga, I was trying to to get closer to the Lord. Nakatunin ako sa DZFE. Mm. Mahilig ako sa classical Christian, uh, station. Uh, uh, classical station. Mm. Pagbukas ko si Ravi Sakaraya sa nagsasilta. Mm. At the exact words na sinabi ni Ravi sa radio mm. where <coughs> the, the, ano, the, the, ano, the whore, uh, The, the, the person who uh, has sex with the whore is worse. Parang ganyan-ganyan. Talagang para akong binabaril. He's a hound ka. Uh -uh. The Lord dealt with me. <clears throat> And I'm very... I'm very grateful to God for <clears throat> having guided me even through those dark places. Because the homosexual life is the darkest, most painful life yeah. you can ever experience. Pinaka malungkot, di ba? Pinaka malungkot. Kasi, kasi hindi naman nagtatagal ang relasyon eh. Merong nagtatagal, pero malungkot pa rin. Merong alam na nagtagal yung relasyon, pero nagpakamatay yung isa. Pag ang tagal-tagal na nila, matatandaan sila. Kasi wala yung full satisfaction. Kahit naman sa heterosexual, you can never be fully satisfied by your mm. partner, husband. Mm. Pero mas lalo na siguro sa homosexual relation. How is that? Oo. Oh, definitely. Mm -hmm. Kaya marami naman tayong 
kaibigan. At saka ano eh, kasi alam mo sa heterosexual relationship, uh, your relationship acquires new meaning when you have a child. Yeah. Diba? Tapos na yung romance. Imagine having to, to sustain romance all your life. Mm -hmm. That will only lead you to um, to polygamy. <laughs> diba? Kasi you cannot sustain... Oh, oh isang professor sa UP always in, in search of a new romance. New romance. Because you have to keep up the romance. And it, how That's can you keep up... That's real falling in love. Yeah. <laughs> how can you keep up a romantic relationship with a person you've been in for ages? With, you've been with for ages. Because in, in, in monogamous relationship, you discover new facet of the person. It's like a mobile turn after five years of marriage. Ay, ito pala. After ten years. Ay, ito pala. Yes. And it's like a mobile. Yes. Eh, it's hard to do that with a, a with a fellow male kasi yeah. wala naman kayo anak. Oh. Hindi nagbabago yung Hindi ano. Hindi lang yun kasi sa design talaga ng Panginoon, meron yung meron yung katangian ng babae na wala sa lalaki kaya hindi mapuno. Kaya nagiging whole ang tao dahil yung male and female. Diba? Siguro. Hindi <laughs> kasi yun ang experience ko. Eh. Uh, <laughs> meron. Eh di yan ang na-experience ko. Napupuno ka. I mean yung yung wholeness mo na yung kabuoan ng pagkatao mo nabubuo. Kasi magkapi magkabiyak nga eh. Kaya nga sa Tagalog kabiyak. Yes. Anyway. Unti-unting, ano yan, tinrabaho ako ni Lord. Mahirap yan, kasi parang addiction din yan eh. Uh -huh. uh, ano yung, yung, ano yung promiscu promiscuity is a form of addiction. Correct. There are sexual addicts. Yes. Diba? I was a, sexual, a sex addict uh -oh. at a particular point in my life. Uh -oh. At a particular point in my life, I was very slender. Uh -huh. So I was very attractive. Uh -huh. So, you know, I can get anybody I wanted. Uh -huh. Even women, but I didn't want women. You know, I must confess one thing. When I was in Harvard, I was in a... I mean, andun ako, nagre-research ako. May na, ano ako dun sa bookstore na... Suddenly lang, all about... Yung encounters of gays, ano. I was shocked na kanyang lang... Yung, yung taas na ng kilay, yun lang ganyan. And then, this guy who wrote it... I had so many encounters. Sabi ko, ito pala yung pagkaano. Totoo yun. Kahit saan, ha? Totoo yun. That is the normal uh, routine mm -hmm. of... Uh, the routine. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hindi Alam mo... Hindi buo ang araw kung wala kang sexual encounter. Mm -hmm. Tsaka ang ano, ang mindset mo, ang tingin mo sa lalaki, sex object, when ah, you look, na objectify mo. Kung ino-objectify ng lalaki ang babae, ino-objectify ng bakla ang lalaki. Kaya gagawin niya lahat para kung napusuan ka niya, nagkagusto sa iyo. Talaga lahat gagawin niya? Not naman eh, all gays are like that. Merong Situsyo. ibang gays na mas prim and proper, etc. Uh -huh. Anyway, ako alam mo, let me share something. Ah, itaposin ko muna yung kwento, no? Uh -huh. Hang, hanggang sa umabot sa sukdulan, uh, uh, kinonfront talaga ako ni Lord at uh, talagang pinakumit niya ako sa kanya. Mm -hmm. At ngayon, I am liberated from sexual addiction. I'm living, uh, ano tawag doon? Yung, clean life. A clean life. Uh, ano yun? Yung, uh, Sanctified body. <laughs> Hindi, yung bali, uh, ab abs I'm, absten I'm, I'm living an abstinent uh, life. Tama ba yung English na yan? Babalik yun. Uh Oo, -oh. anong babalik yun? Sa aking mind. At the tip of my tongue. Anyway. Yun, yung yung, yung sabi, parang buhay pare. Oo. Uh -oh. Yung kung ano yung nire-require sa pare. Uh -oh. Ganun na ako ngayon. And, and, and it's a choice. It's a choice. It's not a forced, ano... It's not because you are commanded or obliged by uh, a system, but it's your choice. It's a choice. It's a decision you make, and um, no turning back. So gayhood is a choice, actually. Eh? Uh, let me explain. Tama yan. It's a mindset. 
Uh-huh. Let me explain what uh, homosexual uh, according to my life, no, how uh, what I believe homosexuality to be. Um, you know, I think homosexuality is actually a religion. A religion. Yes, a religion. It has practices. It has Ritual. norms, rituals. It has, um, you know, a community. Uh-huh. And it has a false god. Mm-hmm. What is the god? The false god is not a man. It is the man's sex organ. Oh, kaya pala yung phallic symbol. Exactly. If you go to uh, India. Not only I... India, even all over the world. Oh, even in the Bible. The Egyptian. No, the Astaroth, the pole, Astaroth oh, poles. Oh, oh, oh. Those were... Those were phallic symbols. Oh, the phallic symbol is all yes. over, but more so in Asian civilization. Yes. We were up in the mountain, and even yung inaagusan ng river, puros phallic symbols, Hindu. Because homosexuals do not realize it, but many worship the phallus. Alam mo, yeah, you know, uh, revelation yun sa akin ngayon palang nag-connect. Kasi sabi ko nun, ah, okay, we were in Angkor Wat, in, 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 uh, in uh, Cambodia, Cambodia, in uh, Siam Reap. And we were going around. Sabi ko, bakit napaka-dominant ng phallic symbol to? And we were up in the mountain. Yung isang river talaga doon, dami-dami mga phallic symbol. It's... Parang Eureka to sa akin, Cesar. <laughs> Even sa Washington. <laughs> Oo. Meron, di ba? Yung, ano, yung ganun. Uh-uh. Yung mga sa, ano. Di ba? Well-known yun. Ano ba ang tawag? Yung obelisk? Eh, ano? I, I forget. Oo. Yan sa, sa, sa Washington, D.C. Ganun. Kasi, uh, what is my proof that the homosexual worships the phallus? You know, I've been with the most successful homosexuals. Successful uh, in terms of money, in terms of fame, fame. in terms of mga awards. Ito, 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 ito. Mga mga, no, I, I don't want to be specific. Uh-uh. You know, so mga, they're award, multi-awarded, they're respected in society, quote-unquote. Uh-uh. But you know, when they congregate, and I was among them, when I would congregate with people like this, the, the, the subject matter would be the, the sexual organ of a man. Really? Yes. It's as if, diba, when, when men, men, men get together, they talk about a woman's breast or a woman's butt, mm-hmm. diba? Look at that breast, etc., etc. Ganyan, ganyan pa natin sila. Ang mga bading, ang pinag-uusapan, yung... Kung mahaba o maikse. Oo, oh, yeah, ano yun, kasama mo, ah, ano, nakuha mo na ba yan? Yan ang unang tanong, pag may kasama kang lalaki, kaya meron kang kasama, diba? Mm-hmm. Nakuha mo na yan. Tapos ang next na tanong, ano, ducks ba? Anong Malaki ba? <laughs> Yan ang tanong. Okay. Yan ang tuyungan. So, at ang, ang main preoccupation okay. ng utak ng, ng isang bakla uh-huh. ay ang kung paano niya makukuha. Yun. Niya. Yung journey from ano, yung seduction to the bed. That's why naniniwala talaga ako ng homosexuality. Bakit ba Religion you siya. You should write about it. <laughs> May libro ka na sinu- Wala. I'm talking Sumunan about ka. it. I'll put it in a movie. Okay. I'm not, uh, I'm a script writer. I'm not a novelist. Um, Hindi. Parang dissertation on the phallus. Huwag <laughs> <laughs> naman. <laughs> Kaya, in other words, Religion nga. Homosexuality is a form of idolatry. Uh-huh. At saka meron talagang demon na tawag incubus pero heterosexual yun <laughs> incubus okay pag sa devil naman ano eh anything goes pero particularly sa see that's why sa bading uh, that's why it is a choice unfortunately the choice is the ve- you know you receive the lie uh-huh. pa sa pagkabata mo 
sinasabi ng lipunan na bakla ka porke kung may camping ka porke okay. nagkaroon ka ng in- ka. Uh, hindi naman dahil effeminate ba- ba- bading hindi ka. marami akong kilalang effeminate hindi naman bading Oo. kasi nga ang, ang, ang temptation ng bakla at saka nung heterosexual parehas lang eh which is for example the temptation I faced as I was growing up even in graduate school is to keep myself pure mm-hmm. and not to have to have uh, you know fornication premarital sex fornication so kanon din naman struggle you can be effeminate and that's my ano ah mm-hmm. you can be effeminate but not sin yeah. as long as you keep your relationship uh, pure yung diba? yung ano sa bible naman wala namang minimension na sin ang ano pagiging effeminate oo oh, uh, ang o sin pagiging tomboy or pagiging macho wala namang ganung ano uh-huh. ang sa bible yung sex act oo uh-huh. Ang problema. Ang sekta, ang ano, yung, yung... Yun ang nagiging kasalanan. Yun ang kasalanan. That's a revelation, Cesar. I've never thought of it that way. Kaya nga, ano, kaya nga you were mentioning kanina, if it's a choice. Yes. Mm-hmm. You choose your God. Mm-hmm. Right? Oh, kagaya So, do you, do you want to choose a false God? Mm-hmm. Or do you want to choose the real God? Mm-hmm. Kaya nga ako, kaya ang proof ko sa sinasabi, si ba si um, Lady Gaga, may kanta siyang Born This Way? At actually, ang sinasabi niya yan, yung you're born tomboy or you were born bakla and that defines you. That's a lie. That's a devil's lie. A person is not born bakla or tomboy. The devil convinces him at a very young age that he's either bakla or tomboy. There is a Talagang mayroong conscious choice kasi kausap ko noon. Ang klase ko sa UP, parehas kaming freshman. And then, sabi ko, hindi ko nasasabihin yung pangalan, but he's a well-known director. Sabi ko, somewhere along the line, you made a choice to become gay. Sabi ko, hindi dahil ano yan. Although, of course, doon, inaano ko siya. Oh, kasi mother mo, very dominating. Pagkatapos ang papa mo, ano, smisty sa Espanyol, ako na, ganyan. Ano? Ayaw kong i-ganon kasi ah, pero, magiging ako, blame game. Hindi blame game, pero sabi ko, if you look back, you made a choice. Sabi niya, come to think of it, yes. Sabi ko, ano yun? Sabi niya, sa high school, may girlfriend pa nga ako eh. Kaya lang, nung natikman ko yun, na nasidus siya ng kanyang teacher, Ateneo to ha, ng ibang mundo niya. It just, it's like a Pandora's box. It opened the way that he chose to become, to take that path. Uh, but you know, to a person who was uh, fooled by the devil at a very young age, the choice would be extremely difficult because you've already developed your tastes uh, uh-huh. and you've already developed your... It, the taste becomes a need. Your desires are already... Addiction na. Hindi naman addiction, pero yung desire mo, Lust. yung propensity mo for for uh, kung sino ang kasex mo, ay na-define na. So, ang hirap talaga. I have to tell you na yung mga bakla, nahirapan din sila. At plus, yung, yung pag-convince sa kanya ng lipunan na tanggapin iyon, bilang pagkatao mo is so um It's a pressure. Yeah. Ah, pagkalakas ng pressure. Kaya at saka you're drawn into a community. Plus you join and, and you know coming out becomes so liberating and so wonderful. Uh-huh. It feels so uh, ecstatic that you think that you're into the right path when you say I'm coming out and then you tell the world na you're already gay or, or tomboy, sobrang ecstatic yan. Uh, kaya, akala mo tama. Pero when you are there already living, ang, ang lungkot-lungkot, Walang masaya ka. Wala. Pag, uh, dati, I was a manager of South Border. Ang laki-laki ng kinikita ko so I can get any band mga bata ang lumapalapit sa akin kasi I was manager of a famous band eh. Number one band. Ikaw, so yung mga... Ikaw talaga yung lalapitan. Lalapitan ako ng mga bata. So napaka-tempting. Ayun because kailangan nila ng pera. How wide space not, not only pera, the fame, getting uh-huh. getting getting close to the band, etc. Uh-huh. 
or getting close with somebody who's powerful, yung uh -huh. ganon. That's very attractive to Maraming factors. Yeah, there are many factors, Would not only money. Which is point na talagang viral na pagka-gay o yung is, is LGBT or gayhood becoming viral because of, for example, vice canta. Uh, bali, ano, is, they have the same situations. Pag-uwi ko, ganit sa... Uh, sa South Border, that was mga three or four times a week, we would have shows. Pagdating di, I would have, I would uh, uh, have uh, relationships, etc. Have fun all night. Pag uwi ko, and that would be around three in the morning, I would park my car in a gas station. And sa gas station, tapara ako, ayoko pa umuwi. Ang sabi ko, bakit after all these things that I've done sa tonight, ang lungkot-lungkot ko, ang description ko na ang profound ng aking kalungkutan. Profound yung loneliness. The lonely crowd. Masaya dapat eh, kasi natatawanan kayo eh. Pero, masaya, pero actually, it's a lonely crowd kasi isa-isa yan, meron sariling ano eh, kalungkutan. Pero alam mo, nung nakilala ko si Cristo, Violeta, at sa... Nung nag-breakthrough ka. Nung nag-breakthrough ako, nung unti-unting inano sa akin ni Cristo, lahat, in-question niya ako lahat, ang pagkatapos nun, ang nangyari, ngayon, pag nagda-drive ako ng kotse mag-isa, nakikinig ng gospel music, ang tanong ko sa sarili ko is, bakit ang saya-saya ko? <laughs> Hindi ko maintindihan kung bakit ang saya-saya ko. Samantalang ang simple-simple na nga ng buhay ko. Unspeakable joy. He, yung talagang the peace that passes all oh, understanding, understand. that's very true. And you know, you just want to share this love. You just want to everybody to experience it. That, that is why now, itong issue ng SOGI, yung mga nagka-campaign for gay rights, etc. You know, I've been there in that dark place. And yeah, I agree na gay should be respected, respected and hindi dapat dinidiscriminate at hindi dapat binabash etc. But you know to to um, have programs that would promote uh, you the soggy bill kasi actually uh, define mo. Maraming hindi nakakaintindi. Ano ba yung soggy? <coughs> soggy bill kasi it's um yung soggy law uh, is is a worldwide thing. Mm. Yeah. And it's a uh, grabe yan sa Canada. Oo. Oh. Alam nyo sa Canada, ang gender, yung pagtuturo ng, ng gender ay hindi lang male at female. Ito ay lesbian, gay, uh, LGBT. Itunuturo yan, yung fluid ano, gender. gender. Sex is fluid. Sex is fluid. Uh, ang, hindi, gender is fluid. Ay tinuturo uh, yan sa gender or uh, sex is uh, it's not absolute. Uh, it's not a given na male or female. Uh, tinuturo yan sa Canada from elementary from kindergarten. Kindergarten as in may mga songs, may mga Storybook. storybooks na na uh, na in love si boy kay girl, yung uh -oh. daw si boy eh si boy eh mahilig sa uh -oh. skirts, si girl ay mahilig magbaril-barilan. Tinuturo alam mo yung hindi na alam I'm sure yung mga kapatid kong mga kapatid natin na na na, na hindi pa redeemed na homosexuals hindi na nila nare-realize kung gaano kalalim yung implications ng Soggy Bill kasi talagang yung Soggy Bill ang tinuturo niya talaga ay na ang, ang lalaki pwede ang, ang pwede mong babae etc alam mo yung Soggy Bill meron pa yang Uh, mayroon yung kink, K, yung K. Kaya yung LGBTQ plus eh, yung plus, meron pang K, alam mo yung K? Kink. Ibig sabihin, bibigyan, may, may gender na kinky. Ibig sabihin, oh, mahilig kinky sa... Kinky sex. Kinky sex, yung mahilig sa bandage. Oo, oh, oh, yung... Yung, yung uh, mahilig sa sinasaktan sa kama. Yung, yung nilalatigo ka. Oo, oh, mga ganun. Meron pa diyang sex na ano, 
uh, pansexual, yung sabihin kahit sino gusto mo ka-sex, yung ang dami-dami definition, kaya nga may plus. In other words, yung LGBTQ plus is, an, is another devil's lie. Teka muna, Cesar, yan ba yung brand na pinupush sa Congress? Yes. LGBTQ plus? plus. Akala ko LGBT, ah, soggy lang. No! Huh? Yung But soggy, naka-incorporate. Hindi, hindi, so, naka-incorporate kasi ang definition ng sexuality Oo. as LGBTQ+. Ang sexuality... Pati bis-bestiality, nandiyan na. Kaya nga may plus, baka in the future magkaroon na ng oh, B. At baka in the future magkaroon ng P, which is pedophilia. Oh. Baka mag in the future... Oh, mayroon ng movement yan. Oo, oh, mayroon movement ang pedophilia. Oo. Baka in the future magkaroon ng N, is necrophilia, sa okay. patay naman. Alam mo yun, kaya nga may plus. In other words... Yung LGBTQ plus is a uh, is undefined, yes. has no real meaning. Walang boundary. Walang na. boundary. It's infinity. Yeah. Kung ano nga, kung gano ka perverse, abot ang perversion na talaga. Ang uh, utak ng tao. Kasi may plus eh. It's legalizing perversion. In other words, <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. Pero, oh my goodness. The, the, pero kung baga, it's a devil's lie. Yung LGBT that doesn't exist. Uh -oh. What is my proof that um? A person is not really gay, or a person is not really lesbian. Lesbian. Why? Because I thought I was gay. I cannot consider myself gay now. You understand? Yeah. I have friends. Na later in life, binago sila ng panginoon at nag-asawa sila ng babae. At happy na sila. At happy sila at may anak sila. And they are leading happy and peaceful lives with their families. Mm -hmm. And they're cherished, ano, ang kanilang mga anak. What am I saying? My exhibit A in proving that there is no such thing as LGBTQ+, is the fact na, eh, bale, hindi totoo na, na ma-identify mo ang sarili ng isang person na, na G, kasi itong G ay nagbago naging lalaki. Oh. In fact, kaya di ba nakakaroon na yung transgender na attract sa lesbian, nakakaanak silang papakasal. Several cases ang no. pasa ko. Mm -hmm. Ako, masaya ako doon. Oo. Maganda yun, yung tomboy, tsaka bakla, Oo. nagkatuloy, nag-asawa, nagkaroon anak. Oo. Maganda yun. I think Oo. that's beautiful. Oo. As long as they're monogamous. Oo. Kasi deep within, there will always be that sense na may kulang eh. May kulang. Yes. Kaya ano, kaya I do not believe the devil's lie. Mm -hmm. And it's, ta it's time for us Christians and not even non-Christians To stop believing in that devil's lie. Alam mo, isa pa kong strong ano dyan, Cesar. Eh, once na maligalize yan, ang nangyayari, nawawala na ng karapatan. Ang may paninindigan kung nananababase sa Biblia o sa ating pananampalataya. Kagaya sa Canada, ang nangyari dyan, law na siya, nagising na lang ang mga Canadians kasi um, nagpatumbaya sila. They didn't care, uh -oh. you know, what was happening in their legislative bodies, no? Alam mo ba kung yung, yung soggy bill na inaano nila sa Pilipinas, ha? Pinaforce nila ang religious at um, educational institutions man na magturo ng soggy according to how they define it. Even private educational institutions. Imagine a Catholic school telling you, te teaching in their schools, na hindi lang male and female ang sex, marami pa from elementary. Oh, kindergarten. From kindergarten. Yan ang sa model sa China, ewan ko, uh, sa Canada, hindi ko alam kung dito sa Pilipinas. Pero once Pilipinas. nga may legislation, the teachers are forced to enforce it. Ang Even churches, ha? Oh, oh, oh. So that means they can close churches yes. if the church would teach ng lalaki para, para sa babae, at ang babae para sa lalaki. Yes. Ganyang ka-evil yung law na pinopropose yeah. ng mga ng tatlong senador sa Senado ngayon. Na nando na ngayon sa Senado. Yung Nasa Senado na. Pumasa na sa Congress eh. Oo. 100% ha? Oo. 
Grabe, walang nagreklamo. Well, and they didn't, they didn't read it. Hindi kasi mm. nagpapasa ng mga ano eh. Mm. So now nasa Senate, ano ngayon ang update dyan? Well, uh, si Senate, uh, Sot, Senator Soto uh, committed to Bishop Dan Balais na he wouldn't take it up. He wouldn't, put it, he wouldn't calendar it. Pati sa si, si Alan Peter Cayetano uh, said that he wouldn't calendar it anymore. Hindi na nila i-refile sa lower house. Uh Oo. -oh. Basta mga ganun. May mga ganun-ganun. In other words, <laughs> is it a dead bill? No. It's so not a dead bill because araw-araw yung mga uh, LGBT advocates, mga soggy bill adv advocates, eh nagbibigay ng mga cakes sa mga senador. Nagbibig... Talaga nang liligaw sila? Nang liligaw talaga sila. Na may rainbow na uh -oh. cakes, na uh -oh. mga pinto na senador, sinasabitan na kung ano-ano. Etc. Sila Kumakanta ka, sila. Happy birthday. Sila ka they are very passionate. And, because you know, and I understand these people because you know, they've been deceived. Oh. They've been deceived na at tama naman kasi na humingi ka ng, ng ano mo, ng, ng karapatan mo, ng mga rights mo. Ang hindi nila alam na yung mismong mundo na yon ay deceived Mag sila ng demonyo. Mm -hmm. Dinisip sila ng demonyo na hindi nila alam na alam mo, kung marinig lang ng mga mga sinitinatawag na LGBT ang ano, ang ang ano, ang mga kwento na mga redeemed na homosexuals I don't want to call them LGBT kasi nga lie yun eh I would rather call them SDIs or sexually disoriented individuals kung yung mga redeemed na SDIs na mga nakakilala kay Kristo, kung marinig nila yung mga kwento, alam ko luluha din sila. Alam ko makaka-identify din sila. Kasi pare-pareho ang pinagdaanan namin eh. Alam ko na pag narinig nila yung mga istorya ng mga to kung paano sinabinago ni Kristo, alam ko, gugustuhin nilang sumama sa amin. Kasi alam namin kung ganong kadilim ang mundo na yan. Dahil nandiyan kami dati. Na andyan yung ano eh, ang bawa, yung sa selos, pinapatay yung partner. Kahit naman sa heterosexual. Oo. Kahit naman sa heterosexual, may ganon. Pero malungkot talaga. Hindi mo may explain eh. Hindi mo rin makakompe sa heterosexual eh. Kasi heterosexual relationships have their own problems. But the homosexual relationships have their own distinct, Problem. more painful problems. Can you cite one? Sa selos. Pareho din kasi sa heterosexual yun eh. Yung selos? Uh Oo. -oh. Sa mga kunyari, meron akong... Meron akong nakilala na sobrang multiple partners na niya. Ang tinginan niya sa sarili niya, basura. Talaga? Sa kwento niya, sinabi niya talaga basura na ako noon eh. Talagang basurang basura siya kasi kahit may re relative niya, pinatura niya eh. Tapos kahit yung... Basta sobrang tingin... Sobrang ang, bu ang utak mo na lang ay eh, eh, sex. Ah, nakahanap siya ng boyfriend. Yung pala basura din. Imagine sa sa tawagin niya sarili niya na basura. Tapos nakilala niya ang Panginoon. Sabi niya sa sarili niya, ako na basura, mahal pala ng Diyos. At nagpakamatay siya. Hindi siya nagpakamatay. Pumayag, magpa, pumayag na iba ako sa Cruz. Ah, oh, pumayag na. <laughs> iba oh, yung suicide. Terminology. Oh. Eh, uh, sa terminology oh. lang na. Mm. He chose to die for us. Yes. He died for uh, us. For he our died sin. for a garbage yes. case like him. Yes. Literally. Hindi nyo alam kung gano'ng kasaya yun. Uh -oh. Parealize mo na mahal ka pala ng Diyos. Uh -oh. Na ikaw isang basura. At alam mo, ngayon, ang saya-saya niya. Ang ganda ng buhay niya. Truly liberated. Yun ang true liberation. Ay, ako. Kaya nga ano ako bala kong gumawa ng ano una documentary 
documentary about all these um, different stories. Uh, the stories of redeemed uh, SDIs. Redeemed SDIs na maganda yan. Oo. Maganda yan. Mga drama, iba-ibang drama, no? Totoo hindi. Gusto ko documentary para true to life stories. Pero big sabihin, maraming drama yan. Madami. May, may mga pictures nila. Makikita mo, ang lalaki na ng mga boobs nila kasi sa dami ng hormones na ah, inano nila. Ah, ang, ang sexy-sexy nila dati. Ang gaganda talaga. Miss International. Oh, mag- <laughs> ang ganda talaga. Mukhang babae na talaga. Uh-oh. Ngayon, they stop taking hormones. Lumiliit yung boobs nila. Uh-oh. Tapos, uh, ay, oh, ito, oh, 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 kasi ano. Uh-oh. Tapos, pero, yung isa, pastor na. Yung isa, uh, church leader, na, na an, yung iba, marami, may disciples na, na nakakapag-convert na ng iba. Hindi ba kayo nahabol at saka purposely, purposely na ititempt kayo para madapa ko kayo at yes. pabalik kayo? Yes, kasi frustrated na frustrated uh-huh. ang demonyo kasi uh-huh. akala ng demonyo, a, 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 no, kanya na ako eh. Uh-huh. Naklu- na-claim ko na to eh. Uh-huh. Ito na buhay ni Cesar noon eh. Uh-huh. Na itong perverse life noon. Na, 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 na nakuha so na ako ng demonyo. That, uh, uh, hindi ako, temptation. tandaan mo, hindi ako ang nagba- hindi kaya ng bakla magbago. Okay. Yan statement ko. Pero kaya na Lord, ni Lord baguhin ng bakla. Okay. Hindi so, kaya ng bakla, pero kaya ni so, Lord. So, ang igagawin lang mo ay isosurrender mo lahat sa kanya. Okay. Last word, Cesar. Marami siguro manonood nito kasi nung nag-feature tayo nung uh, three years ago tungkol sa gayhood, given or by choice, maraming nag-text sa akin. Okay. So, I'm sure, ano ang gusto mong iwanan sa kanila? Na ang buhay sa Panginoon ang pinaka masaya. Hindi mo mahalap ang kaligayaan mo sa yung ibang bagay. Yaman, power, sex. Wala pong, kasa- wala pong say-say yun. At I'm sure, alam mo yan na nakikinig ngayon. Alam mo yung buhay na yun ay walang say-say. Pero ang bawat saglit ng buwat buhay sa Panginoon sobrang saya sino ba naman ang 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 hindi sasaya kasama mo yung yung ama yun lang po salamat Cesar ha sa pagbubukas mo ng iyong kasaysayan personal life story and If you have questions, comments, or feedback, call us at Seacrest Foundation. And our telephone is 435-2237. Or you may text me, your program host at 0908-814-3257. Thank you for being with us here in City Talk. City Walk. We'll see you again next week. God bless you. No longer slave fear. I am a child of God.